So I got a new mouse, and not just any mouse. I got the new Final Mouse. This is the Ultra X Phantom Line. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about getting this mouse. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's supposed to be ultra light. I mean, I'm pretty excited about that. Before, I was using the Razer Basilisk Hyperspeed. I mean, honestly, it wasn't a bad gaming mouse, but this was the first gaming mouse that I've ever had, right? I wanted to try something new. So we're gonna unbox this thing, do a quick review, and we're gonna play some Fortnite. We're gonna see how my editing is, and maybe my aim will even get better. I'm done yapping, let's crack this thing open. Yo man, so I ordered this thing back in like December, right? And it just got here in January. So as you can imagine, I'm probably like super excited. Wow, bro. Yo. Yo, this mouse is so clean, bro. So light compared to my other mouse, bro. Yo, what the heck? It's so crazy. Compared to my other mouse, this is so light. I really like the blue colors. This is a clean mouse. I can't even lie. This is a really clean mouse. I'm so excited, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I do not know what this is for. I'm struggling with chat. Okay, got it. There we go. Alright, we got a handbook. Okay. Oh, is this for so it can be wireless? So this piece here is the dongle. You wanna keep this close to your mouse so that the wireless capabilities work properly. This is the cable you use to connect the dongle to the computer. And this is also your cable that you use to charge your mouse. I've got a charger right now. It actually looks pretty cool. You can see that it's like flashing orange. I actually do want to point out that while it's plugged in, you can still use your mouse. So if you guys want to edit the DPI, you are going to have to go to the final mouse website and click X panel here. It's actually pretty easy. Once you click that, it'll show your mouse and you just click connect. I'm gonna be honest, I did that without recording. I definitely should have recorded it, but yeah. So we're gonna play some Fortnite now. We're gonna see how things go. Hopefully my aim is good. And hopefully I win the game, we'll see. Also, I do have a clothing brand called Moody. I design shirts like this one. And I have a couple more designs on my website. So go check them out at whoismoody.com, all right? whoismoody.com. My DPI is at 1600 right now. And I've been playing Fortnite. I'm gonna be honest, like, it's hard for me to, it's taken me a little while to get used to how light this, um, this mouse is. Like, I feel like I might need to up my sense. The reason why I felt like I needed to up my sense is because although this mouse is lighter than my old mouse, the cursor response carries a subtle stiffness, which it has a precise feel to each movement that my old mouse didn't have. I spent a bit of time free building just to get used to my mouse, but I felt like the best way to really get used to it was to play the battle royale. So I jumped in a game. Oh. 
That's Fortnite, guys. That's Fortnite for you. Let's see if I can get this medallion chat. So I am happy with this purchase. Like I said before, the cursor response is a bit stiffer on this mouse than it was on my last one. So once you get used to that, honestly, I feel like you can really hit your shots well with this mouse. Also, I will say the one downside is I do have to get used to the side button placement. Sometimes I find myself pressing the wrong buttons, but I think I'll get used to that over time. Overall, it is a good mouse though. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. I also stream pretty regularly on Twitch. I try to stream every night, but sometimes I do slack up, I'm going to be honest. But go ahead and follow me on Twitch. And yeah, come say hi to me in the chat. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.